Welcome to Average Mike. Today we're gonna do, we're gonna build a wiffle ball strike zone for my two boys, all right? So pretty easy instructions. Check it out, hang on to the video here, and uh, you'll see how the instruction, how, how it gets put together, where we can then break it down and travel wherever we want with it. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe. Average Mike. Today we're building a wiffle ball strike zone for my son Michael and my other son Mason. Uh, Michael who's on the camera is helping me today. So we've already cut the pieces really simple. It's just one inch and a half PVC pipe um, and we just break it down in dimensions. So the dimensions for a strike zone is 32 inches by 22 inches. Uh, so that's, that's basically the width from his shoulders, the length from his shoulders to his knees. And then the, the width, that's actually the wiffle, for, that's the, the national wiffle ball standard as well. Um, so we just had to figure out the height from the ground, which are what these two pipes are, which we cut to his kneecaps, um, right, right below his kneecaps. We put this height too, so that his strike zone starts there and ends at the top of his shoulders. All right, so this is the strike zone, as you can see here. Um, this, is 20, this is the 22 cut. Taking account the two, the two dimensions of the 90s, the, two, the width of the 90s. These are the 32 inch cuts. Obviously, same thing, dimensions of the 90s, the 90s. And then down here, we got a 90, the same 22 inch piece, but we had to cut it to fit the, the T's and, and to fit the T's so we can get a turn down so this thing can stand on its own, right? So we want to make sure that this sits behind the plate and then the, the batter could be out here. Um, so we'll show you what that looks like when it's all, assemb all assembled, but it's basically I took the PVC I took my Sawzall. I marked all marked all the pieces and I cut them. The base itself is um, 22 by 22 by 22 by 22 square um, Just to give it enough girth to hold it um, And then the same thing we did with this one We cut it to fit the T's in and then we have the up the risers again. This is the size of the strike zone for your for your boys or the adult that's playing and if it's a league so um that's it so you can obviously take these apart so in the end we're going to glue this piece that will be glued together and then this piece will be glued together and the reason we're doing that is so you can go ahead and take these pieces off and make the strike zone adjustable for adults or as the kid as the boy grows and then when you travel you could just basically have two squares and a couple extra pieces that basically will go anywhere you want. So if you want to take it to the beach, you want to take it to the park, um, anywhere you play, anywhere they play wolf ball at their friend's house, they just pack it up. We're, gonna, we're thinking about putting a couple straps, just right through it. So the last piece we bought, went and bought just just runner, floor, floor runner, black. Um, there's other options, you can do metal, um, but we did, we did, blow, we did the black so that we can put logos on it and such. So we're gonna go like that. We're gonna zip tie this around those PVC pipes and then it's gonna be a strike zone. So if the ball hits it, it's a strike. Um, and then again, like I said, we can, we can put logos on it any, any which way you want. Um, you see people put metal, that way there's no argument if you hit the strike zone because you're gonna hear it. Um, so either way, that's a preference kind of thing. You can use fabric, you can use canvas, you can use tarp, whatever you have. You can use that as long as it's stopping the ball, netting, uh, as long as it's stopping the ball and you can hear some sort of sound when it hits uh, for the strike zone. All right, so we're gonna assemble this piece and then we'll be back. All right, so we're finishing the assembly as we talked about in the video, what we were gonna do. Um, some of the pieces are still going to be loose because we didn't glue them yet. We're just dry fitting right now. So as you can see, it's gonna be wobbly at the joints we were gluing. So. This is your strike zone. This is what it looks like. Um, so if a batter sits here, just with the way the batter with the way, he's going to be able to swing that ball. And if it passes through, it's going to be a strike. And then you know you'll still tell whether it's strike. So this won't be in the way. This this bottom won't be in the way because the plate will be out in front here. All right, because you got to get the bat width length here. So what we're doing is now that we got the the dry fit of the. Uh, the strike zone all done. I'm just going to clean the edges here with just a regular rag, get all the, the spurs away, um, and 
the dirt debris. And then we're gonna do some, some plumber's glue. Um, it's a simple PVC plumber's glue, all that stuff. So really, we'll just dry fit it one more time and we'll go piece by piece because this, this stuff is um, pretty fun to mess with. I think you saw, you see, you see my other, other, other video where I was doing my bathroom with this stuff. Um, so it can get messy really quick. So I just want to make sure that one, we're, we're hitting this thing on a 90 um, for this piece, for this bottom piece, and then we're gonna do the top piece as well. So we're gonna start off with one piece at a time, like I said. So now we dry fit it back, we're gonna take it all back apart. You gonna keep it separate to where it is in order. So you can kind of like work all the way down or up whatever direction you want to go. So you take the purple cleaner and you clean that pipe out. clean that pipe out and so we're just gonna put that together for now so it doesn't get dirty again because the glue's not on there yet so we're gonna put the glue nasty nasty stuff um, yep. so we're gonna put that like that we're gonna take the glue and we're gonna glue both sides this way you have a good nice good connection you're not running water through this, you're just trying to keep it tacky and to keep it together, right? So, since you're not running water through it, it's not a big deal if it does come apart because then you just re glue it. Now, if this is in your house, um, take your time, <laughs> it is messy. So, we're gonna hold it for 30 seconds. So, if you don't hold it long enough, it starts pushing it back out, which is a crazy thing about this glue. So, it, it'll push it away. All right. So that's one piece. Next piece is this. So we'll go, we'll do the same thing. We'll clean out the one side. So that was that piece. So that's that piece that's gonna go like this on the bottom. So the reason why we glued this, and we're gonna glue the 90s as well on the end of it is because when you have this strike zone standing up, it this whole piece just rotates. So it's not, and once you hit it with a ball, it's just gonna keep on getting kicked back and that's gonna be annoying for the boys to have to reset that every single time. So you wanna make sure this thing stands up on its own weight, getting hit by bats, getting hit by balls, whatever you need to, to kind of, you know, just in case it's an accident or whatever. Um, you know, so we're gonna just continue to glue. Then we're gonna go to the next piece. We're gonna continue to glue that same the, the same piece at the bottom bar that has the T's and then we'll check it out at the end when it's all dried up and all standing up by itself we'll show you how what I'm talking about and then we'll break it down uh, and I, and then that'll be your strike zone thank you for watch, watching average Mike today um, we, we completed the wiffle ball strike zone for my sons uh, pretty pretty simple there's the, there's the end product uh, we got, like I said, we got the pad for the catch the ball for strikes, um, and and we're gonna make it easy enough to break down so we can travel with it. So I'll show you how that easily breaks down. Um, comes off, boom, boom, boom. Two pieces there. The height here, bam, bam. So now you can wrap this up. You can take this anywhere you want to a park. It's th it's four parts to it, and that's it. So the one adjustment that you can make is that you can make it. Uh, uh, for taller kids or you can make it for shorter kids right depending how, how you want the strike zone okay so you just adjust it how you want it and the strike zone comes down low like that or you could flip it around this is for the uh, uh, you know 10 to 13 year old boys nice and easy flip it like that and now the strike zone height just got raised up to there right fairly simple this whole thing costs about 40 bucks, $45 total from home, from, uh, from home Depot. Uh, and it's all inch and a half PVC. Thank you for watching. Please like, and subscribe check out our channel. Uh, we're on our path to hit a thousand soon. So like, and subscribe, share if you can. I appreciate you watching average Mike.